let me guess, you're recording a song right now and whenever you play your vocals back or listen to them while you're monitoring your vocals, you sound a bit off beat even though you know for sure that you're rapping and singing on beat. What gives? My name is El Marquis, musician, rapper, record producer, unashamed Christ follower, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly fix latency in Logic Pro 10. El Marquis Productions. So now we have a session open in Logic Pro 10. If you're recording vocals, this may be what your project is looking like. By the way, I am thinking about dropping some vocal templates for producers or engineers who record artists or artists who record themselves. So if you would like to see me drop some vocal templates, let me know in the comment section below. So now let's tackle this issue of latency. Maybe you're monitoring your recordings through your DAW, and then when you hear yourself back, you hear like a bit of a delay. That's what's referred to as latency. And that's exactly what we're going to fix right here. So the first area of concern is most likely your buffer size, and it's really easy to share all you have to do is go up, up here, click Logic Pro, go to Preferences, go to Audio, and then this box right here will pop up. Go over here to where it says I slash O buffer size, and this is where you're going to change your buffer size. So right here, I have it maxed out at 1024. Now this is a really good setting right here if you're mixing your song or your beat, but when you're recording, you want your buffer size to be as low as your computer can take it. So if you want as low as latency as possible with your computer still performing well, I would recommend maybe 256, 128 at the lowest, unless your computer is like super fast and can handle 32, mine can't. So I typically stick with 256. And after you pick the buffer size that you want to use, click apply, then after a few seconds it will be applied and then you should notice significantly less latency now in some cases that may be all you need to do but if you have a session that has a lot of tracks whether it's a bunch of audio tracks or especially if you have multiple vst plugins running at the same time just changing the buffer size alone may not be enough so here's something else that i pretty much always do whenever i record logic pro and other daws have a low latency mode which basically whenever you turn on low latency mode it turns off all of the non-essential plugins that you're using and it will allow you to record in as low latency as possible so the first step to accessing low latency mode is to first of all go over here to logic pro go down to preferences and click advanced tools then make sure that this box right here next to show advanced tools is selected and then i would recommend just hitting enable all so you can see all of them then exit out of that and this right here is the button that you'll be selecting this is the low latency mode button just in case it's not showing up on your computer right now here's how you can show it right click on the control bar click customize control bar and display. And under modes and functions, make sure that low latency mode is checked off right here. And if it wasn't already selected before, I would recommend selecting it and then clicking save as default if it's not already and click okay. And then all you need to do is click this and then boom, that's to solve your latency issue right there. Really quick and really easy. That's pretty much all you need to do. So I'll go over all the steps one more time just to make sure that we're all on the same page. The first step that you need to do to make sure that you're recording in as low latency as possible is Click over here on Logic Pro, go to Preferences, go to Audio, and then select a relatively low buffer size. I would recommend starting at 256, maybe 128 if your computer's a bit faster, and click Apply. And then to minimize that latency even further, make sure that you are showing the advanced tools in Logic. Right click on the display, click Customize Control Bar and Display, and make sure that low latency mode is selected and then just click on it to activate low latency mode and that's literally all you need to do so once you do all of that you'll be able to record in logic pro with little to no latency whatsoever so now you just learned how to quickly get rid of latency in logic pro 10. thank you for watching this video if you like what you've seen today please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever i upload new videos also visit my website lmarkeyproductions.com where you'll be able to check out my music my beats my sample kits my merchandise as well as my mixing mastering and consultation services and now go down in the comment section below and let me know do you have any more questions about fixing latency in logic pro 10 and what other questions do you have let me know in the comment section below my name is l marquee l marquee productions god bless